So <laughs> this is this is kind of funny because this isn't anything new. This really isn't anything new. Hearing that surprise, surprise, trickle down ec economics don't work. It only makes inequality that much worse. So even though, especially we on the left, especially um, you know people like me who were who are democratic socialists basically have, have always said this hey look maybe we na need actually to tax the rich more then we can help pay for our public services like the nhs maybe we can help to you know reprivatize our railways help get those back into public ownership and get them actually running on time and at a price that everyone can actually use not to mention numerous other services that if you once remember we quoted um a, a local Barnsley councillor who just said that services just disappear. We can actually now finally fund those services. But of course, pretty much every conservative will tell you out there for some reason that we shouldn't tax the rich because all this money is going to magically trickle down. Even though it has been shown through numerous studies, and again, even going through this one, that rich people do not spend money, they hoard it. So, you know, surprise, surprise, but what makes this study, I think, more important, and I think should be really thrown at anyone who ever makes this argument again, is the fact that this study has been uh, looking back at a 50-year period of uh, of human history, not only just focusing on one country, but 18 different countries. So this study is really quite significant in the length and breadth and the depth that it goes into just showing that, yes, this trickle-down economic arguments that conservatives love to make just doesn't work. Surprise, surprise, but then again, you know... People like me have been saying this for years now. <laughs> so, this comes from the Business Insider. So, uh, and before we get into that, uh, please do remember to hit the like and share button. And of course, down below there's a link to my Patreon page as well as a one-off donation link. And thank you very much to the people that do support me that way. So, on with the article. So... A huge study of 50 years of tax cuts for the wealthy suggests that trickle-down economics makes inequality worse. Oh. So large tax cuts for the rich don't lead to economic growth and employment, but, in, but instead cause higher income inequality. A new study that has examined tax cuts over 50 years has found. The recent paper by David Hope of the London School of Economics and the Julian uh, Limbridge of King's College London found that tax cuts for the rich in 18 countries predominantly benefited the wealthy. Who knew? Who knew? <laughs> you know, in other news, the sky is blue. <laughs> you know? Anyway, it continues. Our analysis finds strong evidence that cutting taxes uh, on the rich increases income equality but has no effect on growth or unemployment. In the short and long term, the researchers wrote, after major tax cuts for the rich were introduced, the top 1% share of the Petrex in national income increased by almost one percentage point, they found. Their findings counter the arguments that tax cuts for the rich trickle down and benefit other people, which the researchers have noted have been a part of the rationale for the major tax reforms in the US. Supporters of tax cuts for the rich can lead wealthy people to put more, in, more hours and effort into working, boosting economic activity, and the researchers said that other arguments for trickle-down tax cuts included that they allow wealthy people to invest more and benefit the economy. Hope and Lindbergh analysed major, ta major tax cuts for the rich in 18 countries that are part of the, orga of, of the, uh, the, organisation 
for economic cooperation and development, including the US, Japan and Norway, from about 1965 to 2015. Top incomes have risen rapidly since the 1980s, and as they grew, more tax cuts for the wealthy were introduced, the researchers said. <clears throat> the researchers said that these results were in line with a 2014 paper published in the American Economic Journal that suggested that lower taxes for the rich cuts rich caused higher earners to seek pay rises. Cutting taxes on the rich increases top income shares but has little effect on economic performance, Hope and Lindbergh confused, uh, concluded. Taxes have been scrutinised during the pandemic as countries look for ways to fund the COVID-19 relief efforts. Earlier this month, Argentina enacted a one-off millionaire tax to help pay for its pandemic response. Fewer than one in a hundred earners will actually pay the tax, which the government hopes will raise $3.78 billion. See, why can't Ricky Sunak do that? <laughs> UK experts have also called for a similar one-off, one-time wealth tax, which, uh, uh, with, with, with the Wealth Tax Commission, which, could say, which said could raise over £260 billion, pounds, or about £348 billion, in about five years. Again, why aren't we doing this? Sounds a pretty good idea to get this. And even better, why not make it a one-off? Why not make this a permanent thing? Because if we can raise £260 billion with that, that's a lot of money that we can be putting into the NHS services, as well as numerous other things that will benefit this country. So, in July, 83 millionaires, including Ben and & Jerry's and the co-founder Jerry Greenfield and the Disney heiress, heiress, Abigail Disney, signed a letter asking for higher taxes on the super-rich to pay for COVID-19 relief. In an opinion article for Business Insider in August, Max Burns, a veteran Democratic strategist, said that President Donald Trump's COVID-19 relief proposal with a 50% cut in weekly unemployment payments and a payroll ta tax cut was just another tax cut for the wealth in disguise. All right, Business Insider is really bad for this. Uh, it's not developed for mobile at all. But anyway, yeah. Um, a report finding exactly what a lot of, you know, people on the left have been saying for years. But um, I'm glad that there are calls um, for a one-off wealth tax. And yeah, I'd be glad, definitely, if it passes. But under this Tory government, I can't see it happening anytime soon. But... There's no reason why it should just be a, a one-off. It should be a permanent thing. Wealth flows far better and improves the economy far more better when it's put in the hands of people who actually spend the money. And surprise, surprise, that is the lower and middle classes who tend to spend more money, which moves the economy more than some wealthy person who... generally doesn't spend all that much money so <laughs> so uh, uh, you know a report that once again shows exactly what we've been saying for years but i'm really glad to be honest that it has been um published because this is one once again that we can show that these tax cuts for the wealthy just don't work and that next year because trust me next year um Ricky Sunak will come back um, with some sort of special budget after all this is over, which is going to it is going to be austerity on steroids. There's no other better way to to describe it, and everyone and everything will be expected to pay. So these promises and all this clapping for the NHS that the Conservatives have done. Yeah, it was just false. It was just fake. But, again, this is the Tory government, which doesn't really care about 
anyone except the ultra wealthy which is why even if this wealth this one-off tax which by the way i think would be a fantastic move for labor to put in for a um for an opposition day motion what a fantastic move we're going to we're going to ask for a one-off wealth tax to help pay for the covid cost and covid recovery what a what a fantastic way not only a will get people on labor's side but also expose the tories for what they are because if you saw the excuses after the marcus rushford incident where they where labor introduced again this one day motion to try and do this um the excuses by the tories were ranged from the bizarre to the outright um dickensian victorian factory owner who was who was basically saying that we should decrease the surplus population and this is would be good for it <laughs> you know um uh you know so come on labor let's get this rolling let's introduce this as a as a as a, as a motion i think this would be perfect one to do so uh thank you for watching uh, please do remember to hit that like and share button and of course down below there's a link to my patreon page as well as a one-off donation link and thank you very much for everyone who's watching and of course we'll see you all next time